Hey everybody, it's me, Susan Blackwell, and today I'm in my apartment side by side by one of my favorite Broadway spaz wives, <laughs> Dance Belt Rad Cakes. <laughs> hey, Danny, hey, top of the morning to you. Hey, Susan, how you doing? I'm always thanks you? for coming over. Thank you very much for having me. You know, Dan, um, I have it on good authority, and I'm not going to name my sources, that in addition to being a star of stage and screen, a philanthropist and an activist, you're also something of a slob. Yeah. You're a little bit of a messy Marvin. Yeah. I've heard that um, on at least one occasion you've shoved a bespoke suit into a laundry hamper. I have heard that... How much day, have they given you? I don't know. <laughs> I've heard that when you come home at the end of the day, it's just like Hurricane Dan hit and you just throw your wherever it falls. Yeah. I've heard that you rock the floor drobe. Do you know what that is? That's where you yes. use your floor as a yeah. closet. Yeah, I've yeah. heard that about you. Yeah, yeah, so, this is all true. Um, is that true? You're yeah. confirming? Yeah, I had a, my, my favorite moment. I was with, um, I was sitting with my girlfriend at the time a few years ago in our, in my flat in London, and uh, we had a friend over, and I spilled some Diet Coke. And without even thinking about this, I, I was just sitting there in a pair of socks, and I just took one sock off and cleaned up the dark coke and then just put the salt back on without thinking that there was anything wrong with that. Wow. It's, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not clean or even vaguely pleasant to be around in a domestic situation. So uh, I thought it'd be fun and a little bit of an educational adventure if you and I clean my apartment and I think I know a natural place to start. Dan, when's the last time you washed windows? Uh, when I was 14 and at my friend's house in Clapham. And there was definitely newspaper involved. Yes, you can use newspaper right. instead of paper towels. Okay. It's an excellent cleaning tip for the folks at home. Hey. Thanks, Dan Radcliffe. <laughs> You're welcome. Now let's talk about how to succeed in business without really trying. Yeah, let's. Which Dan is starring in on the Broadway. Yeah. The show is tremendous. It's got you're, a you're really of as well, You're isn't it, really like? good in it. Oh, thank you, man. If I may use profanity, you're you really can. good in it. Yes, no, thank you. It's, I'm still having a very good time as well because I've never done a run this long before. What is the thing that has surprised you the most about doing that Broadway musical? I suppose John Larroquette is more or less constantly surprising. In what way? Just on stage. Just, you know, he'll do something and like, and, and just when I think he's got nothing left that he's never going to be able to find something that will make me completely lose it on stage again, he does. You then. know what, Dan, if you've got time to lean, you've got time to clean. <laughs> so you can talk if you want, but why don't you But come over here and inspect this. This is terrible here, but generally speaking, it's not too bad. It's going to come out streaky and No, down, no, 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 <laughs> no. OK, so good. I, I want to just say good first try, great first try. So this streakiness, mm -hmm. yeah, that, that's news. just, that's it's unsightly. Get your, okay. Give it another squirt. And then what you want to do, See? the secret is, so first you get the big gunk off with your dirty rag, uh -huh. and then if you take a clean oh, dry yeah. rag and, and you do it like again, that. you just want to get those streaks nice. off Okay, you go. Something I didn't realize about you until I saw the show is you are a sweaty Betty. <laughs> yeah. You are a sweater. And also, I'm a spitty person as well. I was told the other day because because I was charming. walking down. The, I was uh, I met somebody who'd seen the show recently, and he felt the need to go. I saw your show the other day. I was in the first row. I was covered. I was like, oh, well, <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't help that. Nice but friend. yeah, I do. I, I do. I apparently I spit a lot on the first row. So first two rows, be warned. Uh, speaking of bodily fluids, I think they're the rush ticket, so you get a little more for your money. Great, a little damn Radcliffe spit. I'll never wash again. Speaking of bodily fluids, let's go sort Susie's laundry. Yeah. There you go. Dernal, I'm going to teach you how to sort laundry because I think to be a productive member of society, you need to know how to do such things. Mm -hmm. Do you know the basics of sorting laundry? Okay. Well, That's explain okay. it to me. Okay, so the, the, here's the four food groups of mm -hmm. sorting laundry. Yeah. You have, and it, you could get more complicated in this, but you're going to go with your hot darks, your cold darks. Your light hots and your light colds. So let's, for instance, we'll start with this. Okay. This would be a light hot. hot. Great. So we'll okay. put that there. So that's going to be our light hot. Light hot pile. Okay. This would be a. This is a pillowcase. Cold. It's a pillowcase. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna go because your head's on it so much. We're gonna go light. Hot. hot. Great. And it's all cotton. That's another Good. clue. Okay, that's it's another clue. 
Um, okay, dark, here. Definitely Here's, dark. Here's um, one of my husband's t-shirts. Okay. Yes, it's dark and dark. it's like a man wears it, so, so it's going to be hot. hot. Yes. Good. So we'll put it there. This is my actual underwear. And I just want to point out that this is not stunt laundry. This is my <laughs> laundry, so don't f*** it up. I won't. All right? <laughs> okay, so th these are my underwear. This yeah. is going to be Light Dan Radcliffe cold. is touching my underwear. Double thumbs up. This is going to be a light cold. Light cold, yes! <laughs> ding 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 ding. Oh, Look, I didn't it. my underwear. <laughs> I'm still on. I'm still Brilliant. On that was pants. just that was probably like just stepping <laughs> stepping yeah. out of it all. Um okay, so these are <laughs> this is rush. some denim. I was in a I was in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> this is denim, but I'm gonna just point out it has some stretch in it. Okay. It has some some stretch in it. Now what so. could that mean? You, you don't want to Shrink make it. it tiny. No. <laughs> you genuinely didn't think I'd know this little about this, did you? This is, <laughs> uh, you don't want to heat it up because it will decay yeah. the stretch properties. That's what properties. I was saying. Is it? Kind of. I was saying you don't want it to you get hot because it'll, it'll it. like make it shrink and go tiny. It's not that it's going to shrink it. It's but just I don't gonna... want it in the hot pile. To, so to all intents and purposes, So what do you want to do right. with it? Where are you going to put it? It's going to go in light dark. No, light dark. That's wrong. It's going to go in dark cold. Yes! yes! You see? You're doing great. Let's just, you know, here's another clue. There's labels. Oh, There's what? There's labels on things. Well, then why am I talking so to I'm you? I'm just going to tell you what the fabric is. Okay, this is going to be, this is cotton and silk. That this sounds kind of fancy. And silk. It's kind of fancy, yeah. so you should probably go easy on it. Yeah. So and maybe you want to think about and cold. That's uh, a trick question. Oh. You want to dry clean it. Oh, dry clean it. Oh. Okay, here's another stumper. A bra. A bra. Let's chuck it and hope for the best. Chuck it and hope for the best. I'm trying to kill my bra. <laughs> it's light. It's light. I should have put the light piles next to each other. This is confusing me, this whole setup. It's... It's light. I don't want anything to go wrong with it. So you might want to consider... Over there with the other underwear. It's a great guess, but... But it's wrong. Uh, again, you're going to want to hand wash it. Oh. You're going to want to hand wash I'm it. I'm not going to hand wash that. So uh, you have a new movie coming up. Yes. It's called... The Woman in Black. Here's what I want to say to you. And we've discussed this before. We have discussed this. Why? You don't want to see it, do you? Why? You're really annoyed that I'm going to make you see it. Why would you make a movie that I, as a supportive friend, I'm going to have to come watch this scary f movie? Why would you do that to me? Um, because I don't, I don't think about you when it comes to making career decisions. I think that you need to <laughs> do that. Doesn't she f***ing eat children, or she's a ghost who eats no, kids she or something? Eat kids. She eats babies. She doesn't eat. Kids, she doesn't, it's nothing, it's not about food, there's no cannibalism. I got an idea. Didn't the new trailer come out? Yes. Let's watch it together. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, want... you guys can watch us watching the trailer. Okay. This is what the new do you want one, right? Which one do you want to, oh yeah, well, yes, yeah, yeah, you got it. I'm scared. <laughs> if I get scared, I'm just going to pinch you. Okay. Please don't go to Neil Marshall's. I have to. I wish you didn't have to go. Oh, go. Why are they talking? Who will be next? You. Who's that lady? What the f***? <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> ah! I'm not seeing that. Yeah, you are seeing that! You're seeing it really soon! Alright. Uh, you have to see it. I'm really excited. Bad. I'm really, really Surprise. excited. Something that we're both very passionate about, that you've done a lot of work uh, on and with, is uh, the Trevor Project. Yes. It's a natural seg. Woman Black Trevor yeah, Project. Yeah, completely. You, you're, you're good at this. Super smooth. For the people that don't know, what's the Trevor Project? Uh, the Trevor Project is a 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, help suicide uh, prevention helpline for lesbian, bisexual, gay, transgender, and questioning youth. I got involved uh, with the Trevor Project around the time I was doing Equus here in New York. And they do, and I went to one of the call centers, the call center here in New York, and the, the people that I met have worked there have just all been kind of inspiring and amazing. Um, another thing that you're super passionate about is cricket. Yeah. Which I don't I understand. Don't understand at no, all. no one does. Do you don't have worry. like, are, what are they called? Cricket teams or cricket bunches? Cricket, cricket. <laughs> cricket bunches. Cricket, cricket bunches would be a good drag queen name. <laughs> like, be your drag queen name, cricket bunches. Cricket bunches. I'll make you a deal. Mm -hmm. If you can explain the rules of cricket to me before I get bored. You don't have to scrub my toilet. Go. Um, no, go basically, two teams of 11 people. That's right. 
just like brushing your teeth. It is. Except it's your, your mouth is a toilet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're doing great. I think you got a real future in this. I think so. If this the, is going well. If the acting thing doesn't work out, you know, something to fall back on. It is. And then when you're done, you can just shake out the, yeah, and the, well, don't get it all over the, don't get it all over the bathroom and just tap it out, right? You're doing so good, Thanks, Dan. Susan. And then just put it back in very carefully. Very carefully. And just shut this. And fluff. Give it a flush. And it goes away to a magical place. Look at that. Have it. So we're going to hit it with our lightning round, and uh, we'll just fly fast and furious, including some questions from some of your fans. We've got oh, some cool. write-ins here. Okay. So uh, just from the jump, Ty requests that you answer the following questions with an American accent until I tell you to say stop. Okay. okay? Ryan asks, did you give it a couple of tugs before you went on, on stage in Equus? Unfortunately, I was uh, on stage the whole time, so before my nude scene, I could not uh, warm myself up. <laughs> this is a good one. Dave asks, how do you rate Tafik Umar's maiden double century during the third day of the first test against Sri Lanka? Oh, Just wow. kidding. That, that, totally boring. Okay. <laughs> Moving no, on. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. I, I didn't even see that. I didn't even know that that had happened. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> I love oh. he's still holding on to the dialogue. Well, you didn't tell me to stop. You can stop. Okay, thank you. Do respect your lovely girlfriend. If you could make out free pass with one Broadway lady, who would it be? <laughs> oh, Free pass. Okay, there's. Make it a good one. You know what? And 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 she and she knows this. I'm sure. And Elaine you probably Stretch. know who I'm going to Stretch. <laughs> <laughs> it's um. I, and she's if she's watching this, which she might be. You never know. She's. I know you know her. Um, Laura Belanti. Good choice. I can't. Me too. M like yeah. Me too. That's just yeah. We, we could both do it together. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind you watching. Watching. I'm getting in there. <laughs> Booyah! Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, is it ever weird to see your giant head on the side of a building or a billboard or a bus? No, I think that's only right when it's me. <laughs> that's funny. Not a question, just this is just a statement, something that your fans might not know about you is that you love unicorns and you love it when people send you unicorns to your theater, the Hirschfeld, that's at 302 West 45th Street, New York, New York, 10036. Great. So it's not a secret that you've earned a lot of money at a very young age. Yeah. And Why do you think I don't know how to do any of this stuff? <laughs> Let's play a game right. called Dan Radcliffe. Would you buy me that? <laughs> suitable answers. You know how to play. Suitable answers are yes, no, or maybe you may clarify or um, your answer okay. if you like Fine. or not. Ready to play? Yes. Would you buy me that? Here we go. A tiny teacup hippo. Yes. A uh, hippo chalet. I know like Rupert Grant could probably get you one. Oh, great. A hippo chalet where I can house my tiny hippo. Oh, you don't need that. It's a tiny hippo. Uh, okay. Uh, two pairs of roller skates for my tiny hippo. Yeah, that'll be funny. A really big bag of Funyuns. What are Funyuns? Exactly. Extensive Funyuns, plastic yes. surgery. Uh, <laughs> like, are we talking like witness protection program? Need to change your entire Just face? Just full, like, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, no, I like you how you are. Ass implants? Yes, if you want them. A puppy. Uh, what kind of puppy? A puppy made out of diamonds. <laughs> uh, you find it and I'll buy it. A really, really tall stack of pancakes. Yes. Great. A Ferris wheel? Could it be a timeshare Ferris wheel that I get by half the year? Why are you so cheap? Yeah. God damn it, you're doing your rag play. Get two Ferris wheels. Okay, fine, we'll both have I'll them. do Ferris wheels! Uh, no, no, one's for me, one's for you. Oh. My own hippogriff. Yeah. My own IKEA store. Yeah. My own cricket team. No. Just you wouldn't appreciate boring. them. Boring. Um, Thirty seconds of ad time during the Super Bowl. <laughs> if I say yes, does that amount to a like a word of mouth contract in New York State? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, go on then. A piece of modern art of your choosing. You choose it. Okay. Yes. Uh, a pack of dogs that are trained to play poker. Yes. State of Rhode Island. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, go on then. I don't know much about Rhode Island. What am I getting? Yes! Yes! What am I getting if I get Rhode Island? Yes! <laughs> yes! This has been another edition of Would You Buy Me That? I think we got
got to get you out of here. We got to go get you doing your I'm shower. Really gonna do a shower. Thanks for I've sitting enjoyed in this. my shower with me, Dan. Uh, cakes enjoyed with all of my this. bathing suit. Um, thanks for helping me clean my apartment. Thank you. I'm sorry I was useless and I gave you streaky windows. No, you did great. You cleaned it up. I know you've given hundreds of interviews over the years, but you come on. This is like the best interview you've ever done. It yeah. is the most fun and the most relaxed interview I have ever done. I mean, yes. it's probably just the greatest. And on behalf of the entire Broadway community. Yeah. Come here. I knew this was going to happen. Mm. I just wanted to give you that. That's actually, that was actually a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. When I saw you do it to other people, I thought your tongue looked like it might be a cat's tongue. Don't, don't talk like 